Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm doing a video and right now. This video is in response to a video that was made by Douglas over at Douglas Model Garage's video. And his question was related to 9-11. Um, in that question he asks where we were, what we were doing, and some other some other things in the question were like, um, how did it impact us? And did we know anyone? Um, I guess that was a victim directly. So um, I'm former military. I was in the Air Force. For 38 years. Uh, when 9-11 happened, we were in Hawaii. Well, that was in the Hawaii National Guard for 38 years. And um, the unit that I'm with, or was with, our primary function was air defense of the state of Hawaii and for Guam. And what that means is basically we were there to prevent another Pearl Harbor. That morning of 9-11, we were sleeping. The time difference between CONUS, Continental United States, and where we were uh, from New York is five hours. So how we found out this was actually going on was my sister-in-law in Las Vegas called us and alerted us to the fact that, we, that America was under attack. It's basically what she said. So we turned on TV. Um, saw the footage that was happening at the moment, learned what was happening. Uh, I immediately called my unit. Uh, I was scheduled to work that day, and we got called at like, I don't know, 5 o'clock in the morning. So anyway, called my unit. They said yes, report early. So I got myself ready and reported to work. Um, that day turned out to be one of many extremely long and hard days as far as work is concerned. Um, basically we were activated and we were put on a for 17 days, we were put on a 12-hour schedule. So 12 hours on, 12 hours off. Um, so that was one way that it impacted my life, my family's life. Um, the other was emotional. Uh, it was very, very emotional, I'm sure, like everybody else was. And if you watch Douglas um, present his video, you'll, you'll see how emotional he is about it. That event changed <clears throat> the way that my unit was looked at as far as um, the Army, the Navy, the Marine Corps, and actually the regular Air Force. Um, because my unit was on a on an army base, uh, they immediately, I mean, they went to the extremes. They, 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 they finally learned what our job was, and, oh my God, they posted a guard 24-7. They put barbed wire around our building. Um, they <laughs> to get in our building, you already had to have um, a security code and a badge and then to get into the inner core where the actual operations center was you had to have another security code 
So we just just added layers of security to our building. Um, but to answer the other part of Douglas's question, which was the more emotional part of it for me and my family, was that a a girl that my brother went to school with, grew up with, and knew very, very well, was a very close friend with her, um, and we knew her also. She was on the plane that crashed in Pennsylvania. So yeah, that one was tough. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, that's my answer to Douglas's question. Didn't want to make a long video. Um, didn't expect emotions. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, it, this event just changed the lives of so many people. So anyway. With that being said, Douglas, I hope that answers your question as far as my point of view is concerned. Um, I hope everybody has a great weekend coming up. It's Friday today. And take care of your families. Take care of yourselves. Most importantly, be kind to everybody. And I will talk to you in my next video, which will be less um, emotional. Anyway, you guys take it easy. I'll talk to you later. Bye.